Hey guys, it's Mike from Lever Gear. I'm getting ready to go on a trip to China for a manufacturer visit. I just wanted to make a little video documenting my trip and showing you what it's like to go visit manufacturers in China and just what the experience is all about. If you're a manufacturer and you've kind of always wondered what it's like to manufacture parts in China um, and visit vendors and how the process works, stick around, I'll, I'll, I'll give you some good pointers on that. Or if you're just kind of interested in travel in general and want to see what uh, what China's like, sort of not as a tourist, but sort of some of the more regular towns. Um, so this is actually my third trip to China, and I've been to Taiwan once. So by no means am I an expert on traveling there. I've done it a few times, and uh, I, I kind of have it down a little bit. Um, as you can probably guess, I'm in the Charlotte airport right now. Flight's gonna be about 23 hours of air travel time, so uh, I'm, I'm in for a long journey today. For those of you that are familiar with Lever Gear, you know that our, our tool card is made in America. Uh, tool card, it's still TSA compliant. <laughs> but our, our next products, uh, the Bit Vault and the Bit Light, um, we're actually gonna be doing the manufacturing in China. There's a lot of reasons for that which I'll probably get into in another video. In general, China has been a, a manufacturer for a long time. 30 years ago, they had a, a really bad reputation for quality, but a lot has changed uh, in the past few years. So really well set up to manufacture pretty much anything. If you get a good partner, the quality is, is on par with some of the best manufacturers in the US or anywhere in the world. We have a, a company that we've partnered with who is based in the U.S. They have been working with uh, several manufacturers in China, most of them kind of small to mid-sized manufacturers. They were giving them so much business that they ended up sort of buying buying the companies and creating a, a small kind of conglomerate of different manufacturers that could handle all different kinds of parts. They were a really good fit for our uh, Bit Vault and Bit Light just because there's, there's die cast parts, extruded parts, uh, plastic, uh, silicon rubber, springs. Uh, you name it. They're just set up to kind of manufacture all of that and uh, and do it at a, a good price for uh, for our customers. So on this trip, I'm going to uh, visit some of the factories, take a tour of the plant, and be looking at uh, the first article parts off of the tools. Once the tooling is done, they'll, they'll shoot a bunch of samples for you. I'm going there to inspect the samples, uh, go through the inspection report, see if the dimensions are uh, in spec and, and the tolerances are all uh, within what we need. and. Um, fit all the parts together. Invariably, there are always a few little tweaks that need to be done. By going over there um, to work directly with their engineers, it makes it a lot uh, more smooth to, to kind of go through the changes and it, it helps with the communication barrier a little bit. I don't speak any Chinese uh, other than, you know, ni hao and xie xie, which, <laughs> which gets me by, but uh, usually when you go over there, um, the people from the factories, there's always uh, at least you know a few people that speak English and will kind of uh, show you around, show you the ropes, act as your sort of tour guide and translator, set up your hotel or your, or your car service. The, the manufacturers, they're pretty good at making uh, your trip run smoothly. So if you're going to be traveling to China, get started early. You're going to need a visa. Um, you can get a work visa. You can actually get uh, like a 10 year, you know, in and out visa. So um, once you go through the process once, yeah, you're done and you can travel for 10 years um, and it's super easy. It, uh, it just kind of looks like this. It sticks right in your passport. It's a little bit of a process, so you, you're probably going to want to start uh, at least a month in advance. You're going to want to contact your manufacturers that you're going to visit and get them to write you a letter um, that they're going to be hosting you and how long you'll be there and where you're staying. So uh, I think my flight board's here in a few minutes, so uh, I'll probably check in uh, a little bit later. Made it to Shenzhen Airport. This is really one of the coolest airports I've ever been to. It's kind of uh, hexagon uh, lattice ceiling all over the place, and when I get into the main room, it's just it's it's enormous. It's like a, a giant giant mall basically, or a football stadium kind of all rolled into one. Yeah, got here uh, three flights, and about uh, 24 hours later, it's just after midnight now, and um, going to find my driver. Um, I guess kind of navigating around the airport is pretty easy. All the signs, uh, or at least most of the signs, are in English as well as Chinese, and probably a few other languages. A couple of things I wanted to add that I just remembered uh, when I when I uh, went through customs in Beijing. One thing when you travel to China, they this is kind of part of your customs card. It's actually an exit. <laughs> 
card so you need to hang on to that during your trip and present it when you leave the country. I'm not entirely sure what happens if you don't have it when you leave but I don't really want to find out so I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that with me. And then another point I wanted to make, I got a uh, text from AT&T when I arrived, which said I've got international day pass. So for $10 a day, I pretty much get all the phone calls and texts and, and I think data that I need. It's a really good deal. If you're not on AT&T or whatever service you're on, it's probably a good idea to um, call ahead and see what sort of international plans are available if you're not already on one. Going to meet my driver. He's just waiting for me by the KFC with a sign with my name on it. So I'll talk to you guys uh, probably tomorrow. Today is the day. Uh, first article inspection. This is the moment of truth. You do your best to get the parts right and, and prototype it to try to make everything work. So we'll see if it actually works. See, I'm uh, in the lobby of my hotel. It is really nice hotel, um, the Park Lane in Dongguan. Just uh, met with my driver and he's gonna take me to the factories. We'll go over uh, all the parts and assemblies. Hopefully everything's ready to go and uh, hopefully it all fits together. So um, I'll check back in in a bit. What province is this that we're in? Um, we're in uh, the town, we're still in Humen. Humen, mm -hmm. yeah. Next to China. Oh yeah, yeah, sorry, the town. Yes. Shops and yeah. oh yeah, there are the pool tables. Yeah, first time I was here, it was all <laughs> like, everywhere. everywhere was outdoor pool tables and <laughs> yeah. just even out in the rain. Yes, yeah. all surrounded by factory. Yeah, everywhere is factory. So you said all it, kinds know. of factory you look you talk, you're talking about. Over here. Yeah, this is footwear factory. <laughs> See that. Sure, right. right. Footwear yeah. Company Limited. <laughs> Probably they do the Nike, Adidas. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Small restaurant. All right. <laughs> We're here at the design review. Here's our team. Here's Linda. Yep. There's the whole team. Hi. Hello. What's your Hi, name? Hi, good morning. Can you tell everyone your name? Little Li oh, oh, yeah. It's me, it's me. Yeah, Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Linda and Jen and, and Ron. Um, so we're just going over the parts. Um, we're off to a great start. Things are looking really good. And we're going to be yeah, able to make adjustments good. as needed. So. Um, uh, but off to a good start and we'll go from there. Our first article samples. Um, it's looking really nice. Um, nice black anodized finish. You can see the laser etching. Everything's fitting together really well. Uh, clip is working well. It's gonna make a few little tweaks. I think these release clips we're gonna tweak a little bit so it's easier to do. Uh, some of the dividers in there and then this part's gonna be black so um, we're gonna make this uh, O-ring a little bit tighter, but other than that, it's it's pretty much ready to go. So one other thing is we've, we've been testing it for uh, waterproofiness, <laughs> and so far so good. It's it's keeping out the water, so we're gonna do a lot more substantial tests. Uh, dinner with <laughs> yeah. Lil Shit and Ron. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, in a cool restaurant here. Uh, we got some live entertainment. Uh, today we're in Shenzhen, um, which is a real big city near uh, Dongguan where the factories are. Um, but a lot of manufacturing in Shenzhen as well, um, but mostly um, electronic stuff. And I'm here with uh, my guide Ron, who's uh, <laughs> going to be showing me the um, uh, largest electronics yeah. market in China. Yeah. How yeah, do you describe bit, this? Oh, this is, uh, they got everything from finished product to component, all kinds of component, passive, passive component, they got, you know, you name it, they have everything, you know. Uh, right. Yeah, they got drone, all <laughs> kinds of, uh, you know. All right, well, we're going to check out some drones <laughs> yeah. and some components. And um, the meeting went really well yesterday. It went so well yeah. that we were going to, we got some time to play today. So let's go check out the market. Yep, good. All right. Yeah, 
So we got all kinds of components here. Um, just anything you could you could want to build anything you want to build. We got some electronic cables, uh, some, some switches, USB connectors. You name it, they got it. You name it, they got everything. <laughs> Housing, RF connectors. Yeah, RF connectors. More and more connectors. Switches. So you can see the escalators up there. This place just kind of goes on forever. And I guess there's oh, all the LED lights you need. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sort of flickering in my screen, but uh, they've got, you know, just components and um, also finished goods as well. So I guess we're in the component section. A lot of connectors here, capacitors, batteries, power supplies, uh, fancy LED lights, <laughs> batteries. batteries, power packs. So they've got finished goods as well. So when we find some of those, I'll yeah. Hey guys, it's a Friday night in uh, Dongguan and uh, getting ready to go out for dinner and hit the town a little bit. Um, had a great day in Shenzhen today. Uh, that electronics market was crazy. <laughs> it was just building after building and stacked floor after floor of just electronics and components and uh, everything from iPhones to drones and, and circuit boards and little connectors and uh, you name it. But um, Shenzhen is a pretty pretty big city um, and uh, Ron was telling me uh, you know just like 30 or 40 years ago it was all farmland so it was it's really um, just sprung up really fast I guess the the president of China at the time uh, 30 years ago was was kind of like uh, looking over at Hong Kong and said you know we basically want to piggyback on that and decided to just build a city there so they built it and it's now it's just a huge thriving manufacturing center and uh, economic center. A couple other little uh, tidbits of, of uh, nickel knowledge. Turns out Dong Wan is actually kind of a uh, general, like a, it's not a province, but it's like a, just a metropolitan area that, and it's made up of like 20 small towns and not small towns as you can see. Uh, I'm in Chang'an, uh, this is the view from my hotel room, and um, it's, it, you know, they're all actually kind of little cities, but there's about 20 or so that make up Dongwon. This area again started with a lot of manufacturing, um, and uh, it's, it's really kind of changed a lot in the last several years. We're gonna head out. Uh, if I uh, have any battery left in my phone, okay. I'll try to take some footage. Okay, and, so we made it out to uh, Jim's Roadhouse, and uh, Ron is driving tonight, so he's not drinking, but Mr. Juan and Little Shit and I are having a good time. We're watching the World Series. So uh, we're one day in the future, but the World Series is uh, about one day in the past. But uh, anyway, <laughs> bye for now.